Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch a Facebook ad campaign so that way you can grow your Facebook page and get a bunch of likes and followers on it. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So first things first, let's go to our ads manager and I want to go ahead and create an audience first. So I'm under ads manager and audiences and let's go ahead and create an audience and a custom audience. And for my sources, I want to do Facebook page here and next. And then I want to go ahead and select my page that I'm trying to grow. So my SEM training page and my events. I want to go ahead and do people who currently like or follow my page. I'm going to select that. And then I'll go ahead and create a name for this audience. And I'll go ahead and click on create audience. And I can go ahead and close out of this little window. Now I know that that was really quick. And if you have questions about custom audiences, I have a video all about it. Link in the description down below. But the main thing is you want to make sure that you have an audience of people that already like your Facebook page because we're going to wind up excluding that audience from our ad. So that way we're not advertising to people who already like our page. So let's come over to our ads campaign area now and we'll just create a brand new campaign. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and select engagement as our campaign objective and continue. And I'm going to go with the manual setup right here and continue. And I'm going to leave all these options as the default. Again, I have videos on all this type of stuff. So if you need more information on campaigns or ad sets or ads, links in the description down below. I'm just going to get to the core content in this particular video. So if you didn't notice, I clicked on the ad set level now and we want to go ahead and change our conversion location so we can change it to Facebook page right here. So get people to engage with your Facebook page. And then for our performance goal, it automatically select maximize number of page likes. So that's what we're going for. Want to make sure that you select the correct page that you're trying to get likes on. So the correct page is selected right here. And then you can go ahead and select your budget. And I don't usually recommend spending a whole lot on buying page likes because the organic reach within Facebook is not very large. So even if you have like 100,000 people liking your page, when you post your page, only a small fraction of those people will actually see what you're posting. So getting a bunch of page likes is more for credibility and social proof than anything else. It doesn't really compound into growing your business outside of that credibility and social proof. So I wouldn't spend a ton of money generating these likes, but seeing a business with a couple thousand likes compared to, you know, four likes can make a big difference in somebody buying a product or not. But coming on down here to our audience controls right here, let's go ahead and open this up. So show more options. And I wanna go ahead and exclude a custom audience. So that one that we just created. So people who already like my SEM training page, we'll go ahead and exclude them because they already like it. And there's no point in advertising to them again. And we can also go ahead and adjust our location as well, which is a smart thing to do probably. So one strategy is to actually change your location to worldwide. And so we can type in worldwide right here and it may or may not show up I've had times where it does show up and right now it's not so if you don't see it when you type it in you can just go to browse over here on the right hand side and where it says countries you can click select all and then it'll automatically you know select worldwide so the strategy here is that you're going to be advertising to the whole world so you might be getting a bunch of clicks from India or Pakistan or something like that however they're super cheap clicks and therefore super cheap page likes. So that way you can start getting some likes on your page and start getting some growth. So you have some social proof. So you can basically seed your Facebook page with a few hundred or a few thousand cheap likes. And then once you have that base of social proof, you can go ahead and advertise to where your customers actually are. So that's just one strategy for quickly growing your page and getting a whole bunch of cheap likes. It's advertised to the whole world. And then of course you can go ahead and adjust your age range, and you could come down here and switch your audience if you want to. So you could go ahead and identify people with different demographics or interests or behaviors, but I don't recommend getting too narrow or specific here. Instead, let Facebook's algorithm do the heavy lifting. And a good answer for that is actually to leave it on the use advantage plus audience option right here. So Facebook's algorithm does all the optimization for you. And you can go ahead and make other adjustments if you need to, but let's get over to the ad real quick and address this. So a page like ad does look a little bit different. You can see on the ad itself, there's a little thumbs up button. So somebody could click that thumbs up button and like your page directly from the ad. Let me go ahead and add some media real quick. So I'll add an image and we'll throw this guy in here with the orange book. And you can see now how the ad will look. So that thumbs up button right there and it'll show up on the Facebook feed or Facebook marketplace or Facebook video feed and also in the search results right here. So we can see how our ad will look and then we can add our primary text as well. So I threw in some copy right there and you could add some other versions of the copy if you want to and then Facebook can 
Test those out and see which one gets you the most likes for the cheapest amount of money. And there's not much else you can really do with this ad, but I still recommend turning on tracking just in case for some reason somebody sees your ad and clicks over to your website. Well, then you're still tracking them with your pixel and everything else. And so that's really it for creating an ad campaign for generating page likes. Again, the point of having a bunch of page likes is more for social proof and credibility and not about growing your page. So that way when you post your page, you get a bunch of organic traffic because Facebook's organic traffic is not the best. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.